There are some people in the area who've been shopping for a holiday tradition that, in fact, has as much meaning around northeast Wisconsin as anywhere in the country. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has more on the primarily northern European St. Nick's Day that's also credited with leading to the American Santa Claus. All through the house. At the Hazelwood Historic Home in Green Bay, Jeanette Murray remembers St. Nicholas Day well. We had a stocking on December 6th. And the stocking was all, we had long stockings then, and they were always filled. <laughs> Murray toured the museum Thursday. Well, if you're good, you get it full of st uh, good stuff, and if you're not, you're full of black coal. <laughs> were you good? I never got black coal. The holiday dates to the 4th century saint, known for his generosity. Stockings were hung to catch coins Nicholas is said to have dropped down people's chimneys. And other traditions involve shoes, placing them outside bedroom doors or by the fireplace, hoping to garner gifts in the morning. St. Nick Day has roots in Northern European culture and Wisconsin as well. At Shopko and Ashwabanon, candy and ready-made gifts were selling quickly. St. Nick comes to everybody's house. What do the kids think? Oh, they love it. Like I said, more gifts. We always used to do it in school, um, so we just keep going every year with it. And now that we're having kids, we're going to be doing it for them too. And while the candy canes may have modernized, people we talk to say tradition stays the same. I got a brand new great grandbaby, and she's only eight months old, so she'll probably get a stocking. In Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. St. Nick's Day is celebrated in about 20 countries, sometimes on the 19th of December. How much do you know about this early December visitor? Well, you can test your St. Nick knowledge on our website, fox11online.com, on the homepage.